And my name is Heidi Schlumpf. I'm Andrew Hales. I'm the Digitization Project Manager. I'm Lead Photographer. Digitization is really the process of capturing digital versions of your collections. So you can access something digitally without accessing the, the physical item itself, which can be very fragile. We try and do what we call rapid digitization. So try and photograph or digitize as much as we can as quickly as possible. So, so the first step is to, to know and understand your collection. So we have a, a process where the, every object is identified and make sure it is what it is. So once you've identified it, once you know you've got it, then the next step is to actually physically get it out of storage. We check its condition, can it actually be handled? Some things, you know, we, we know if we handle them, it's gonna damage them. So we then bring it into the studio uh, and it gets photographed and make sure it's got a unique identifier. So each, each object has a unique accession number and that number is literally uh, physically and digitally connected to that object. The images are all collected together. They are processed very quickly. We don't do any Photoshop work unless we really, really, really have to. Uh, everything's processed through um, Adobe Lightroom. We keep copies in a digital archive, the goal of which those things will be around in 100 years. And from there, ones that are allowed to be published get published to the website. Anyone, anywhere, can access and view those those records and the, the images. In fact, we've got a few members of the public, not only in New Zealand, but overseas as well, who've become really the kind of keeping an eye on collections that we're, we're putting up because they're following it. And so then you learn more about your own collections that way, which is, yeah, really special, another real huge advantage. Before you start the digitization, we have this kind of triage which is where you kind of establish what do we need to do on the record side of things and what do we need to do um, with the photography side of things and then those, those different tasks are delegated to a person in each of the teams. The records team do a huge amount of work mm. in order to make sure that we can capture a photo and that that photo is going to be connected to the right record. Uh, there's, there's no good taking a picture and naming it suitcase. If there's 100 suitcases in your collection, Someone in a hundred years is going to come along and go, it's a suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we need to know which suitcase. We have a, over 3,000 colour slides that are beautifully annotated. For, so this is from Jerry Clark, who was an ornithologist. The slide holder and the image in the slide can be valuable information. In the case of the Jerry Clark collection, he's gone through and annotated a whole lot of them. There's a couple where he's written right around the frame on both sides because he's included the names of all the people, the names of the boat, the bay they were in, any birds they saw, mm. the date, the time. Amazing. Yeah, which is, yeah. which is just a huge amount of information. It is, which is both wonderful and challenging. It, it's a lot of work when you're talking about thousands. So we handle an object a lot more than we're normally done in a museum. Mm. Um, normally you want to handle something as little as possible. Um, but in order to uh, first identify it and, and make sure it is what it is and that it matches its record in the database, the, the records team have to handle it and, and look for accession numbers on it, look for unique identifiers on it. And then to photograph it, we, we have to be able to see all sides of it and turn it around and turn it over. Um, so it is done with the, with the utmost care. And there's a certain amount of understanding that there may be a small amount of damage to the object. There may be things that fall off it, but it's, that's where we work with the records team and the collections team and identify beforehand things that that may happen to. It, it's never boring. Museums are not old dusty places. They are alive and they are representative of their communities, whatever those are, and I feel really strongly that it should be available and easily accessible to learn from or identify with um, to anyone. They're dynamic, they're interesting, they, they are seen as places that you can really find something of yourself. Maritime Museum is certainly like that. There's stories that, that, that resonate, I think, with anyone. Well, we're making a, a community asset mm. more accessible to more people in the community. And the work we do will, will last long after we're gone. Yeah, that's it, in a yeah. nutshell. Yeah. That's why, yeah. yeah, I love it so much. Yeah. It's a sense yeah. of giving back, I guess. Mm.